Well, uh, now, but Kingston Technical, of course, are no pushovers. Let's see what they li their lineup has to bring. Kingston Technical, they have uh, four at the back, but before that, Jaheim Hall in goal. Back four of Carlos Planta, Damari Brooks, Thierry Merritt, and Alwyn Bennett. Three in the middle, Ravian Thompson, Jamari Robinson, Jordan Fowler. And three up top, Nicoy Walters, Devon Millwood, and Quayne Hudson, the 12-goal, five-assist man. They're coached by Francis Murray. Yeah, of course, be on the lookout for Kowain Hudson. He's the one who's going to be looking to create those incisive passes and score those important goals against his almost impenetrable St. Andrew Technical defense. St. Andrew Technical, they have Jaheim Williams in goal. A back three of Alex Xavier Gooden, J. Lloyd Smith and Kemar Thompson in the middle of the park. Nicole Gale, Richard Livingston, Ajitai Marshall, Andre Salmon, and Kevin Hall up top, Leon Brown and Dwayne Atkinson. Of course, they're coached by Philip Williams. Yeah, and unlike Kingston Technical, where they have one main man, I think the St. Andrew Technical team has quality in all three phases, in defense, in midfield, and in attack. They're going to be a tough unit to stop. I'm looking forward to see what they bring on this occasion today. Should be a very interesting lineup. O'Hara Headley sent them off. It was a first half action. And that header from J. Lloyd Smith almost going on target, but that was the intention being shown from St. Andrew Technical. Richard Livingston sending that delightful cross. It fell well for Leon Brown, who flashed it wide. Livingston again with a free kick. That went over the top. It was really action from them. Leon Brown getting a shot. A snapshot as you'd like, and he really had a good day. That shot from Dwayne Atkinson being handled by Jahi Moore, and it was really action. Action upon action for St. Andrew Technical in the first half, showing their quality. Again, Livingston with a tantalizing ball, and Leon Brown almost got it on target, but it was deflected out by Damari Brooks. But in the second half, Andre Salmon, they're getting his shot off. Another block ensuring. But this the moment the game changed for St. Andrew Technical. A darted run by Leon Brown. And Jahim Moore had no option but to foul him. Livingston stepping up, taking the penalty, converting. That was in the 58th minute. 1-0 for stats at that moment. Kevin Hall sent that one across and the header from Livingston directly to Jahi Moore. Another game, another goal in the 73rd minute. This ball after a bit of a melee fall into Leon Brown, the one-time finish. The stuff of legends, yeah. Clean finish, Jaheim Orr. Shell-shocked and frozen. And when he looks at the replay, he'll see how quickly that one flew past him. 2 0 at that time. And the pressure would continue to mount. Delightful ball that from Kevin Hall. Going the way of Richard Livingston, who turned inside and fired. Two legged player is Livingston. Yeah, that's a rarity, especially at the schoolboy level. And he did well to beat Jahim or in goal. Three goals for St. Andrew Technical at that time. And they had a lot of joy. Here's another delivery from Livingston and the header from Alex Xavier Gooden. Bang on target. And that was his second such attempt in this half. Under 17 national player for Jamaica, converting well. Four goals for St. Andrew Technical on the afternoon. And to the victor belongs the spoils. Philip Williams enjoyed that performance. Here are the match statistics. One shot on target for Kingston Technical from eight attempts, 10 on target from 19 from St. Andrew Technical. 
There were 21 fouls, nine of them to stats, 12 to Kingston Technical, three yellow cards to Kingston Technical, three offsides to St. Andrew Technical, nine corners versus four for Kingston Technical. Saves, five made by Jaheim Orr for Kingston Technical, only one for made for Jaheim Williams in the stats goal. And they had 58% of the possession to go with four second half goals. St. Andrew Technical, the winners on the day. Kimani O'Sullivan is with the man of the match. All right, thank you, Dean. I'm joined by man of the match from Stats, Alex Xavier Gooden. And on behalf of Digicel, junior brand manager Caden Webley will be presenting him with his award. All right, let me talk to you now, Alex Xavier. You got the win and you scored a goal. How pleased with that are you? Well, it's a very good feeling, but we still have a lot of work to put in. And in terms of celebrating your goal, you gave Coach Philip Williams a big hug. Speak to me about how important he is to your success. Well, coach, well our coach is like family, and this is a big achievement for him because we want to bring home this one for him. And in terms of your Man of the Match award, how do you typically celebrate stuff like this? Well, I don't celebrate. You don't celebrate? No. All right, so what are you going to do later at all? Just play a game and go sleep. Play a game and go sleep. All right, thank you, Alex Xavier. Yeah, All thanks. the best. Yeah, that was Alex Xavier Gooden, the centre-back of St. Andrew Technical there. We'll be joined now by coach Francis Murray of Kingston Technical. Well, 